Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or welcome to my YouTube channel. We're doing some more RPG Maker. I'm working on my game that I am wanting to hopefully finish one day. And if you are new to my channel, this has been a project that I have wanted to finish for 20 years now. No. When did I start high school? <laughs> when did I start high school? <laughs> yeah, yeah, almost 20 years now. Holy crap. Um, it's been 18 years, actually. Holy, holy crap. Wow. It was my senior... Wow. My 20-year graduation is in two years. Good Lord. I'm an old man. Wow. I wonder... I might go to that one. Who knows? But anyways... This is my little project that I'm working on. Damn it, chair stop. I hate it when you go awkwardness. And let's see here. Last time I was working on the mayor's house, I got it all spiffied up. I may or may not do wallpapers. Which, for those of you who are new and don't know what I am talking about, this is what I'm talking about. Wallpaper. Normally, I would stick to just, you know, doing this throughout the entire thing. But, that, but to me, that looks boring as heck. So, instead of just, you know, the boringness, why not add more color to it? And especially this because this is the the hotel, motel, or inn. I call it Village Inn. No, it's not the restaurant. <coughs> <coughs> so I might do that again here. But honestly, the white kind of sets this place up. I might do it for the hallways. And that's probably it, honestly. Our, I did it here, because it was, again, like this, in the hallways, I mean, the bedroom here. But, the purple, or this is actually pink, matches the purple. Which is, this is actually the floor that's supposed to go with it. But it, it just, it doesn't work. Where instead I chose, I believe, yeah, I chose that one. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay, I see now. And it removes the... Okay, I see now. I, mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, I know why, because of the... The... the mm, okay, the ledges don't... Uh, is it? Yeah. It's a legend that does not allow for that. So if I do wallpapers, which I'm using ledges, and these are ledges, they don't stack. So there's really no, like, it's because it does this and not that. What can you use them for? In a sense, nothing. So I use them for, well, this, because they don't stack. They have those lines in them. Which I don't care for. To me, this means that they're not a finished tile. Even though they're called a ledge. Well, a ledge would essentially mean this. But as you can tell, it looks like crap. So, no bueno on that, honestly. Uh, hmm, actually, un unless... I wonder now. No, that wouldn't work either. And I know it wouldn't work either. Never mind then. Hmm. And, and for those of you who are not new, I can't think of the right word. Sorry about that. You're probably thinking, well, load up the sample maps and they'll have, no. None of the sample maps 
have the ledges in them at all. I've browsed them all. They never use them because they do this. So, yeah. They're, they're not finished tiles, I don't think. And they've been persistent throughout every iteration of RPG Maker. Again, I could be wrong. Maybe they are supposed to do that. But to me, it just looks like crap. Make a hard save. Okay, and for those of you, for those of you who are new, whenever I make a save, watch this. Oh, I save it. I undo it. I undo it. Whenever you save something, it's supposed to save to where you cannot undo it. So to fix that, I do that right there. I call it a hard save. Saving is not actually saving it until you switch maps. It has been a bug in MZ since day one. And they have not fixed it yet. It took them over three years to add a feature that should have been in the program since day one. Anyone who uses MZ because of my um, whatever you want to call this because of my playthrough, walkthrough, tutorial of the entire game that I'm making that feature was added because I fought for that feature for over three years I fought with them to get it added in and I have proof of it as well if you want it I can show it on a recording if you want to see it I don't mind doing it. I really don't. <clears throat> they finally added it in. Alright, so now I need to decorate this map. After that long winded intro is finally done. I need windows. So we've got a bedroom here, a bathroom here. This is a master bathroom. There's not going to be an entrance here. I want to move the stairs. No, I'm not, I don't mind, I won't. I'll keep them where they're at. Who cares? Okay, so I need windows. Windows, 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 windows. I actually know. First thing I'm going to do first. Very first thing I always do. I need the staples. Rope, wrong tool. I need the staple items. Every interior in my game has these used to be three items but now it's four because I found a new one that fits so now that is done those four items have a meaning they, they have a meaning in the game and every interior for, a, for the building in my game will have those items in them and anyone who is new yes I'm going to make every essential building with an interior I'm going to make my game hopefully if I can with of course possible limitations on the program you never know I'm going to make hopefully more NPCs than CD Projekt Red's Cyberpunk which was a great game I played it on release when it first came out through Gamefly. Yes, I had bugs. Who cares? They were easy to fix. Loved it. Great game, by the way. But that's my goal. I'm going to have hopefully more NPCs than that game does currently. Will it happen? Who knows? Unfortunately, my game cannot be open world because there are map size limits of 256 by 256. So, if I could make it open world, I would, but I cannot. So, that is a bummer, unfortunately. So I do apologize for that for anyone who wanted open world, but limitations on the program. Don't blame me, blame the program. 
whatever it is what it is <clears throat> every character every the starting characters you you can choose and the NPCs will be randomly generated by the engine's built-in character generator, which is right here. I will basically just hit randomize for everything. And then once I find one that I like, I'll just use it. So this one right here could be one of the starting characters for the player. I'm going to do one for every race. So like white, Asian, Hispanic, and of course, blacks as well. And what else is there? What else is there? There's Asians, blacks, or African Americans, I mean, Hispanics, white people. What else is there? What else, do we have any more than that? We don't have people of um, blue or green or... Is that all we have? Wow, okay then. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do like two of each gender for each race of color. So I'm gonna have two males of black, Asian, Hispanic, white, and the same for females as well that you can choose from. Unfortunately, I don't think I can actually make it to where you can see them before you choose them. I don't think, and I'm not sure on that, but if I can, I'll put it in. <clears throat> but that's my goal, and then the rest of the NPCs will be randomized as well. I mean, a lot of them will have the same stuff, unfortunately. Because I am them, I am limited to what I have, you know, pre put into the engine itself. So there will be a lot that look the same, unfortunately. But they're going to be all randomized. I could go through and like you know nitpick what I want, but I think randomize will be fun actually. I think it'd be quite fun to just randomize them all. See what happens. Alright, so let's get to doing this after that long spiel. So I saved. I can undo. Even though I hit save. I can undo. I hope they fix that. If they don't, they're... Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a big no-no for me, honestly. So I need to do a hard save, and now I can no longer undo. Because I did a hard save. I did a, you know, a true save. All right, so I need, I'm not gonna add doors right away. I'm not gonna put a door here because door sideways view is just, Disgusting. One feature I want in, an, in a new iteration of this, and I don't mean RPG Maker Unite because honestly, screw Unity. It's a horrible engine to, to use. Every game I've played on Unity has been nothing but a buggy friggin' mess. So honestly, screw Unity. It sucks. It's a bad engine. Don't use it. <laughs> Even if they weren't trying to charge people money per download or whatever, don't use it. Because of, you know, gamesmen on Unity are just buggy as fudge. I, mean, I need Windows first. But, yeah, I want Windows first. Let's do the long oblong boys. I'm, I have no idea how to use these at all. Like, to me, they just make no sense. I guess they're like curtains or whatever. I mean, obviously they're curtains, but... Like... It doesn't fit. I 
I guess they go around the windows. I don't know, but it, it just it doesn't work. Like I don't know where to put them. Cause so if, if I put this here and then I do the the window is is no longer there. You can't see it, so why bother? When I can just put a window. I mean, I have a window. Why do I need these? I mean, that's just my two cents about it, honestly. Kind of want one more like right there. Actually, I'm going to put this one more like in the middle and this one right here. That works. And I want a clock. I want a clock over here. I want a mirror. Eh, no, not right now. Oh, no, 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 no. I mean, I could do it on the wall. But I think that's more like a grandfather clock. Instead of like a regular clock. But what do I know? Actually, is it? Yeah, no, that works. No, yeah, no, that works, yeah. Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, let's see, I need more stuffs. I need a closet, I need, okay, so bathroom here. I need windows as well. A couple of windows. Oh, hold on. OCD. Whoa, crap. Crap on a cracker, dude. Um, I need a... F Uh, no. Ain't gonna work then, is it? No, it's not. Okay then. I have to put them like right there, or one. Okay, hold on. You go here, then you go right there, and then you go right here. Perfect. Perfect. Um, maybe like a painting or something. Um, let's see. I can have, I can put a desk up here actually. Hold on. The circle goes in the square hole. <laughs> What a wonderful meme. Um, let's see here. I need a chair. I need a chair. No, I need ink, paper, documents. No, not that one. Documents and then a box full of stuff. Yeah, that really the little office area. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, that works. Um, now I, I could be lazy, which I, I I I admit I was before, and I could just you know copy and paste all this in, but I would have to um redo. A whole bunch of stuff. So I figured, you know what, I'll just do each individual house by hand and change things up. Who cares? <clears throat> um, uh, not right there, but right there. I have an idea for the globes. I may not do it because of map size limitations unfortunately or no no if I do it I might use VX Ace because it has a 500 by 500 no no 
Well, I think, I think, it's, I think it's the same size no matter what. That's because the yeah the pixels are bigger on this one. VX Ace was thirty two by thirty two. This one is forty eight by forty eight, which is why they cut the map size down because it equals the same size of five hundred by five hundred. And sometimes with VX Ace in its current iteration. 500 by 500 maps are trying to load even a blank version of that makes the program crash. So I wouldn't be able to do that. Hmm. Oh well, whatever. No big deal. If I don't do it, it's no big deal. It's an idea I had, so it's honestly not a big deal if I don't do it. <clears throat> and honestly, who needs a world map anyway? Who needs a world map anyway? I know I don't. Hmm, let's see here. I no, no, that won't fit. Uh, I kind of want more stuff on the walls and like stuff through here, but I want to leave. Might move the entrance because that seems a bit too close. Yeah. Let's put it there instead. And then let's make the closet now. <coughs> nope. Uh, yeah, no. One more. No. No, that, no, that could work, yeah. And actually, no, that's not gonna work. Cause then if I do this. No, that will work, it's just, yeah, that works, yeah. No, that works, that's fine, that's good enough, yeah. That's good enough, okay. And then I can take one of this over here. After clothes, which I don't have very much for clothing, so unfortunately it's going to be the same ones every time I do a closet, but honestly, who cares? I really don't care, honestly. And it would be the same ones every time, even if I went on to Steam and bought a tile set because I'm literally using the preset stuff that came with the program so I mean do I care no it's fine as it is is most of it is literally stuff from VX Ace just upgraded to look better big whoop Honestly, I would I, I would consider MZ VX Ace. Just no built-in script editor, which sucks because it uses JavaScript, which they could easily add one in. I know they could. They just refuse to. Because I was told like someone someone told me an excuse saying that oh. JavaScript's not powerful enough for that. I was like, if Ruby can do it, and Ruby is a freaking weaker co a weaker code language than JavaScript, how is JavaScript not strong enough to have its own built-in 
Like, seriously? What a bullcrap line that is. So yeah, I mean, they, they could easily add it in, I'm sure, but it's, it's like, nah, going down a, a separate program, deal with it being up, updated constantly and getting ruined from updates. Which, I mean, it's what it is, but whatever. I still prefer built-in. Not that I'm going to code anyway, because coding is just above my head. I can change, like, true-false statements and numbers, that's it. Like, I can change how much how much gold the party starts with in the editor, in the coding editor, without making an event. Like, that's as far as I can go. That's just as much as I know how to do. I need anything else I want to put in the bedroom. Um, I do want storage for clothes and stuff besides just this. Nope, that ain't gonna work there because the window. But I could put it. No, no, it won't work either. Um. I could move the bed over to no uh, over to here. And then put all that there. Cause it won't matter. No, actually no, not right there, hold on. Then that person can't get out. Yeah, then I'll do that. And then, uh, no, not this one. Silly goose. Then do that. Yeah, there we go. So they can get out and they can get out and the bathroom's here. There won't be a door for the bathroom because door's going horizontal. Yeah, horizontal is left and right. So yeah, door's going left and right. This don't work at all. It'd be nice if they added a future to that is like rotate the map the way we want it to be turned so we can place certain items a certain direction because now wait hold on where did I do that at? oh up here now they clearly have the ability to do so they clearly have oh crap they clearly have the ability to let us place items or tile sets in different directions. But they just, you know, they refuse to do it. Which is, you know, whatever, I you know, it is what it is, you know, their choice. If they don't want to allow it, then that's on them. But it would be a great addition to program. I hear someone's bass outside and if you turn down, it's giving me a freaking headache. Probably someone's car. Yeah, I bet it is my neighbor's car. He's typically a, a, um, a nugget about that kind of stuff. He'll come home leave this car running for like an hour with this base loud. I was like, dude, why? Wasting gas. Gas is like six bucks where I live. Come on now, turn your car off. Okay, gas is not that high. It's just an ex exaggeration, but you know what I mean. Anything else I can put in there? Like there's an empty spot here. Kind of want to see if I can put anything else. No on the food. No on that stuff up there. Um, I could do. This is the mayor's house. The mayor would be married. So I could do a a small. Okay, I know what I can do. 
Oh, and if any of my ranting and raving um, upsets anyone, grow a pair of balls. Grow a pair of balls already. Come on. I mean, I could put this here. No. Yeah, I'll put that there. Um, some painting, sure. Uh, I mean, in theory, they couldn't really reach it because they're one tile high characters, but it kind of works. But it kind of works. I like it. Now, there is another way to decorate maps. And no, I'm not going to do it. This is right here. That's how you do it. You save the image as, then you take the tile sets from the program. Then you very carefully crop out the tile you want. Then you paste it into the image. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm not going to do that. I have my reasons. I don't have that kind of um, uh, patience for that kind of crap. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it would allow more stuff to be on the tables and stuff, which honestly, that's just too much clutter. I would, I would, that would be way too much clutter on a table. <clears throat> Just no, it, it would be it would be obnoxiously too much work to do. I am fine with just doing this. So I have a couple paintings. I have. Is there where where's that at? Where's that at? Um. Okay, yeah, there it is, right there, yeah, yeah. This would be, it's blocking the window, but new cube, but who cares, because it's right by the, yeah, that makes sense, yeah, that makes sense. So this will be the wife's stuff right through here. I need a chair for her now. And I might change these maps later on, who knows. Like, I might get rid of the wife's stuff, if there is a wife. Who knows. Okay, do a hard save, so I cannot accidentally undo it. And I think this is done, maybe? Let's see if I can add more. Oh yeah, anyone else who is new and still watching, this is what you think it is. I have plans for this. Well, okay. I have reasons for having this. And I literally just went on to like Bing or Google and typed in blood PNG and that's what I found. I don't know if this is anyone else's PNG image or not. And if someone else, if whoever owns this, I'm sorry, but I want to use it. <laughs> I want to use it because it is the best one I found so far. I cannot find it in a different one. That is just this stuff. And whatever the hell this right here says, I have no idea. <laughs> but I have my reasons for having it because, yes. Actually, how close am I to that? To where I can put more of it down. I put some down in here. None of it through here as of yet, which there won't be any in the village. What about the next map? What's on the next big map? 
is the forest I could put some there maybe we'll see I don't know yet we'll see Um, is there anything else I can put in the bedroom? There is. And I'm, I'm looking at three of them right now. Question is where? Actually, I wonder. Hold on. Can I put stuff up high without it screwing things over. Nope, it goes behind. What about this? It goes behind, okay. Because that one is on the highest level. So I need to put, that might be an easy fix. Hold on now, I'm curious. So if I put it here, And then I put that stuff on a higher level. What happens then? It goes behind it. Why does it go behind it when it's on the top layer? It should go on top. Not behind. What if I put bottom layer? Oh, then it does the whole transparency crap, yeah. So I never put. See, to me, that's a bug. See, that's a bug. It should not do that at all. So I never use the bottom layer because that is a bug. Okay. Unless it depends on the item. No, nope, it's all items. It is every single item in a game. Okay. Yeah, it is every single thing in a game. So yeah, la layer one is broken. This is layer two. This is layer three. This is layer four. And that's all of them combined. So yeah, layer one is busted. Down boy. Hey, down bud, good boy. So I cannot, I, let, oh, I wonder, hold on. What if, nope. Does shift click work? No. It works there, but not on top. So the top part, I wonder. Is that maybe why? It is. That's probably why. That was why. But it doesn't look right. So that has an effect on, uh, uh, okay, I did not know that. Now I do. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I can put stuff up there now. <laughs> that changes stuff. Oh, that kind of fits. No, it's hanging off. Dang it. Nope. Too big. Oh. Uh. Nope. Hi, buddy. What's up? Oh, it doesn't fit, man. That sucks. Nope. I wonder. Nope. 
What? What? What's up, little boy? Oh. What's up, buddy boy? That fits though. What's the real one for, huh, buddy? You got food and water in your bowls. Oh, that's it. That, that changes everything. Okay. Nope. Well, I'm actually kind of right now. It's too far forward. Nope. Nope. That changes everything. Oh, and that's another reason why, why you want to save this as an image and then go in here and then put stuff on top of things. If you have that kind of patience to cut things out of the tile set and then put it in, but I don't have that kind of patience to, you know, carefully cut out what I want without grabbing anything else. I don't have that kind of, I don't have that skill or the patience to, to do that. <clears throat> I wonder. I mean, that kind of fits, but it's the wrong time period. <laughs> Same for that, it fits, but the wrong time period. I'm only using this for the chairs. <laughs> It extends that. That sucks. Oh well. That doesn't work either. So there's really nothing I can put on top of there. So there's really no need to have it set up to where I can. Fair enough, honestly. I'll just do that. I don't care. No big deal. Now I do want these set up where you can walk on them. Because I do want it to where the NPCs can actually go in these. Yeah. Actually, no, not the bottom part, just the top part. Not this one either. Yeah. All right. So there's no point in having it like that at all. Fair enough. That digging you're hearing is my cat using the pooper. Good boy. Good boy. Down, boy. No, get down. Hey. Hey, get down, boy. Get down, boy. No, get down. Get down, boy, come on. You silly goose. You silly goose, you. All right, so now for the bathroom. This has been a long video, but I don't care. Don't mess with the blinds, bud, okay? You know better than that. They're not free to mess with. All right, I need a toilet. No, actually no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever, toilet there, whatever. And yes, this is my toilet for anyone who is new. I could go over here and grab the person in throne, but it wouldn't fit the time period that I'm going for, which is um 
medieval or um, fantasy or whatever. So instead of you know going for the throne, a hole in the wall, a hole in the floor. And no, don't worry, I'm not gonna make it where you actually have to use the bathroom. No, don't worry, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna be a freaking jerk. Cause then it would be a triple X game. And not safe for kids. So no. <laughs> I want I, I want everyone of all ages to buy my game. On hopefully all platforms, but not mobile. Cause screw mobile gaming. It needs to die off, please. Even though I could put it on mobile game. And then charge everyone like fifteen dollars per map. <laughs> That's a great idea. <laughs> Let's do that instead. No, I'm not gonna do that. It sounds like a scumbag move, honestly. And I just gave all the developers a wonderful idea. Son of a bitch. I'm sorry, guys. I just gave them all a wonderful idea. I just gave EA, Activision, and Ubisoft a wonderful idea. I'm sorry. Okay. That's the bathtub. Looks like a swimming pool, but ignore it. Now, these are um, called rugs, but you don't fold rugs like towels. Actually, you know what? I kind of like the tile, but tile is a um, hazard. And I don't like hazards. Oh. Nah, never mind. You know what? I don't care. Though I could do... Can I do that, I wonder? Hold on, I wonder. I will have to make a new state, though, wouldn't I? What's up, buddy? What's your meowing for, huh? What's your meowing for, huh, buddy? What's your meowing for, huh, buddy? Uh, make a new state, a new state, a new status effect. <laughs> Get rid of that crap. Get rid of that crap too. We're not. We're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that shit. Um. Water. Restriction. So I could put a hazard here. It'd be a state. Remove by walking. Um, after like five steps maybe? But it only appears here? And it won't be in battle traits. How can I, um, hold on. State rate. I mean, I could do it. Make it freaking you can slip on your butt and get hurt. I don't know, that's something for later on, I don't, I don't know, um, discard chances, yeah, that's something for later on. That's something for much later on, like, I can have it to where you, if you walk in the water, you get wet, if you walk in fire, you get caught on fire, which is obvious. Um, poisoned, obviously poisoned, um, electricity, you get, like, you know, shocked or whatever. 
I, I can do all kinds of things, but <clears throat> I don't know. We'll see. Because, I mean, my game is going to be like a CRPG. It's just it won't have the big... What are you doing, little boy? Oh, what are you doing? Cut with your tail, buddy, okay? Your tail got caught in my cords. Where are you going yelling for, buddy? Well, I guess I gotta go check on my cat because he's meowing for some reason. So I wanted to put a cut in the video here. And I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day.